Good morning. Oh my God, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning. I am not happy. So I had to take Paul to this place. It's like a body work shop for cars. He has some scratches on his car and he's having them repaired or whatever they do. So I've driven 15 miles already and it's not even eight o'clock and I haven't slept a wink all night so I had another one of those hormonal sleepless nights I really really tried hard and I couldn't so I ended up downstairs again on the sofa just watching TV drinking tea so I feel really really tired now but I managed to put my makeup on <laughs> I think I'm, I have to go home and have a nap and I was planning to do so much today I've ordered some clothes I was sitting one evening and almost trying really hard to find something to buy and I didn't like much I went through so many websites but I've ordered a few tops so when they arrive I will model them for you and we will see if we like them I bought a really nice top from the white company they are very expensive but it looked just like so me you know that really fine fine cotton a white one of course but it looked so beautiful so I hope I'm going to like it I'm gonna go because I feel like I even don't have energy to talk the only reason I'm talking to you <laughs> is because I've left my camera in the car so it was already here so I thought while I'm waiting for Paul I might as well moan to you about my sleepless night and me had and me have to drive so early 15 miles good morning my lovelies wanted to show you I had to buy some new SPF for my face because the ones that I still had left I think they were a bit old and you don't want out of date SPF so I was looking around what to get and I got a couple from Nivea so I got this one which is Nivea Cellular Luminous 630 degrees anti-dark spot day fluid and it's SPF 50 he comes in this bottle with a pump and I tried it today because you know some some SPFs don't work very well under your foundation some of them start rolling or go really dry but this one was really really lovely it's a it looks um it's not very thick yeah it goes in pretty quickly can smell it i don't think it smells of anything so this is spf 50 well, it just says um, Luminous 630 is combined with an extra protecting yet lightweight formula which is enriched with cell activating hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and UVA, UVB filters. But on here it says that it is that protects you from dark spots darkening and helps prevent reappearance and photogenic protection so i thought that would help because you know i have like um sun damage it's not that bad now because i haven't actually been in a lot of sun and didn't get a suntan but you know i've got sun damage like on my cheeks i've got these brown patches on my chest so i thought maybe that will help with this and then i bought another one which is a soothing sensitive carrying formula and that is SPF 50 as well this one comes in a tube so if you get um, 
like sun allergy because it says here it gives you sun allergy protection so this one is for sensitive skin so i have to try how this one works under under makeup then i was hunting for spf cream for my body you know how sometimes lotions stain your clothes especially white ones like yellow and I wear a lot of yellow and this is the area that I want to always protect and unfortunately whenever I go out in something white you know when when your clothes are rubbing they are very yellow and it's so hard to get that out I actually saw something on Amazon that it was sand and lotion stain remover might have to get that so I was researching that and someone said that that if you buy the mineral sunscreen that it doesn't have all the chemicals it won't stain your clothes so it's the chemicals in a physical sunscreen that cause your clothes to get stained so i looked around and and they recommended this one dr fisher ultra soul nature baby mineral sunscreen so you only get in here Honestly, I have to go and have my eyes tested. I'm sure they're getting worse. Um, what is that one? 50 plus as well. Very hard, hard, high protection. So this one's got zinc oxide. But it has millions of other things. I thought you would just have the zinc oxide and what's the other one? Just two ingredients, but it has millions of ingredients. But they're supposed to be all natural because it's for, for a baby. Anyway, <laughs> they should be so tiny. It's so, so tiny. I thought if I was using it on my chest and my shoulders, I'd probably use it in two days. So, I don't know. Does any one of you know of a sunscreen that doesn't stain clothes? Because I haven't found one yet. <gasps> So I've ordered um, the sunscreens from Boots online and I also ordered Dior Backstage Air Flash foundation. So I remember using this foundation years and years ago and I really liked it. I never, I don't think I never used it on its own but I would use just any foundation and then I would spray just a light foam. foam? film of this and it really make your skin look really airbrushed so i bought this one in 301 but and i was so excited this morning to sit down and put it on look the pump doesn't work it is so annoying this is se second time that i've ordered from boots and your that there was something wrong i ordered last year i remembered your you know that quintet little palette came completely smashed up yeah this one remember it came completely smashed so i had to go to the shop and return it so now i have to go and return this and i don't know if it's boots or dior is it something wrong with dior how can you you know and the thing is, I've thrown away all the paperwork, so I can't really post it back. But I've got I've got the email confirmation email and all that, so I probably have to go to actual store to do it. Really annoying. You don't expect expensive brand like this to sell broken stuff. I am going to put on today Natasha Denona Mini Zendo palette because oh god what time is it oh oh my god i need to hurry up louis is going <laughs> to to the groomer he's having his holiday haircut <laughs> oh my god just as well i looked at the clock clock watch because otherwise i probably sit here with you forever and i would have not forgotten it but i didn't realize what time it was right I better go because I'll be here forever if I talk to you. So, Louis is at his groomer. I quickly ran to town and returned that Dior foundation. So that's done. 
I was just worried, you know, because we're going away. I'm like, I don't have time to go and return things. But I've done that. Now I am going to put away all my scarves and hats, you know, winter ones. And I bought, I bought three bags like this with a window. Can you see with a window? So I'm going to put it in there and I also wanted to show you the trainers that I just bought from Amazon look at these these are so comfy you know they're the ones that you can just chuck in a washing machine to clean um, they are just like sketches you know that really really soft I think they have a bit of memory foam they're not as thick as sketches the memory foam but they are so comfortable they did them in different colors I might get some more because they they were like half price of sketches I can't remember were they about 34 pounds and just remember I would get size bigger so I'm normally size 5 UK 5 or maybe five and a half although in some trainers I am six like Adidas usually I feel comes up a bit small in Nikes I buy five so but if you I'm not sure I would go at least half a size bigger I couldn't go half a size because they didn't have five and a half uh, but the six feels fine especially with socks but they are really really nice right I better put those scarves away this is done it's quite good because you've got that window so you can see what's in it it's not very full but still I have all my scarf hats and gloves in there well mine and poles I also wanted to show you I bought Louis some new toys for holidays but I couldn't wait and I sh uh, I gave him one yesterday this this is like a log with squirrels stuck in them <laughs> they have like um, foil in it and they squeak um, they are quite hard but they, it's quite snug when you push them in and you know how dogs love pulling things out of toys they usually make a hole and pull the stuff in so I think that's why he enjoys it because he can stick his face in there he's looking for things he pulls these out he was so happy with it he doesn't play that much well he loves his toys but he will only play like for 10 minutes in the evening yesterday when I gave him this toy and he always has to play with us we have to tag with him or throw it for him he was playing by himself he was shaking it pulling stuff he loved it so much so I'm really pleased and I got him very similar one with squirrels in a log like this it's really uh, soft and squishy they come in different sizes so if you have a bigger dog they do bigger ones so this one's got little squirrels but these ones don't squeak I think this one was cheaper and oh, there is three squirrels in here so I'm gonna take that one on holiday with us so he's got something new he loves it he's like a child when he gets a new toy and then I got him this little one it's really soft but that one doesn't squeak either it's so hard because yeah but it's for dogs yes yeah, so I leave you links to those I think I mean this one is definitely a hit and um, had so many good reviews everybody says that their dogs absolutely love those toys I know people complain that they dog destroyed it really quickly but some dogs do that don't they some dogs just love destroying every toy I've, I've bought Louis a plush toy before and if we were tagging you know it would make a hole they are not made that strong and if you have a huge dog then mind you Louis's mum who is obviously Shih Tzu but she's much smaller she is a destroyer if she gets a toy she has to make a hole in it pull all the stuff in pull the squeaker out so she's a destroyer Louis is okay he if he, he if he sees a hole in it then he will be determined to make it bigger and pull stuff out but he doesn't make holes in toys on purpose so apart from those bags that I bought with the windows I also bought a couple of these you know I really I think they are called laundry bags 
they are so good for storing i've got like jumbo ones that i put duvets in there or pillows and they go in the loft but also what i use them for i haven't even looked how big this one is and they are so pretty these days this one is quite big so and they have a zip so i bought a couple of those because when we go away in this country you know we put our clothes in suitcases but i love using those bags like i will put in here louis food uh some of his toys and then in another one i will put like our food actually what we did yesterday we ordered supermarket delivery to to the cottage that we stay in staying at so yesterday we did um some shopping online from Ocado and they will deliver it that day when we arrive which is good because um i don't know what the situation will be with eating out because i um restaurants are not open indoors yet so everything is outdoors so if it's a horrible day and raining then we have to stay in and cook for ourselves and also you need things like for breakfast and sometimes lunch you're not going to go out three times a day to eat so we were laughing because um when we looked at the shopping list mostly we had eggs and crisps <laughs> so we bought some crisps for like snacks with some dips we eat a lot of eggs we bought some bacon um we bought some vegetables and fruit and something you know to cook a couple of dinners because we can always obviously still go to the supermarket when we're there but we wanted to have something when we arrive so oh and i think uh, paul's sister might come and visit us and stay one night uh, in that cottage because we have three bedrooms it was so hard to find anything because obviously we are not allowed to travel abroad so everybody's booking holidays here in the uk the prices have gone through the roof um so yeah it was very hard to find something i'm so glad that we've booked it you know what was it a couple three months ago we booked it yeah we booked it then because we knew it would be hard to find anything so i'm waiting now i'm in limbo you know it's like i've got things to do but i don't want to start anything because i know i have to go and and pick louis up in like half an hour but I want to um clean my living room properly today like dust i've cleaned down here you know i was telling you last week and it doesn't look like i've cleaned i have to clean it again so I think I might wait till he's back and then I get on with it. I was thinking to film this week a um, makeup video, but I see how I go because you know I'm getting a bit jittery and have things to do. I have to do wax my armpits, <laughs> I have to epilate my legs. Um, I get a bit agitated you know I've told you what I'm like I get very highly strung when it comes to planning anything and doing anything so um, I think I will be too stressed out <laughs> to sit down and and film a video yeah but I will start um, soon filming you know stuff with makeup and and things it's just there is nothing that I am excited about. I was very excited about this foundation. I know it's not new, but I remember how much I loved it. And I was so annoyed when that pump didn't work. I have a bad hay fever today. My eyes are a bit watering, my nose is a bit running. Yes, yeah, so when I popped in to town, because I haven't been in town since probably last summer, um, the town centre, I saw Topshop is closed down now, Burton's is closed down, loads of shops are just not there anymore, it looks really sad. Oh, I think I ordered something from Charlotte Tilbury's, what did I order? Oh, I think I ordered her new setting spray, so I wasn't going to get it, you know, I very much like the... Um, 
Morphe one but I've seen reviews and few people saying now that that setting spray is amazing that keeps your makeup looking fantastic all day so I ordered that out I will try it where is it I ordered it about three days ago it usually comes quicker than this and I've got some tops but um, three just arrived but I'm waiting I think for a couple more so when I have them all I will show them to you okay shut up Nisha go and do something okay all my tops have come so I thought I'd show it to you I'm really really pale because I've scrubbed myself yesterday ready for new fake tan <laughs> so it's not gonna look that nice with a pale pinky piggy skin um, but I wanted to show you all the tops that I got so most of them some are from mint velvet uh, one from Next, one from the White Company, and one item from Amazon. So this is from this is from Mint Velvet. Um, I like Mint Velvet. It's a very pale yellow, two-layered top. This is quite delicate, so be careful when you iron it. And it's got like these thicker sewn-on flowers. It was a bit tricky to iron in fact most of these tops were tricky to iron I never think of that you know frills and so what I like is at the back it has really lovely bow detail can you see so I thought that would be very very nice summer top I think they only did it in that color and now let me show you the other two. From okay, so this looks quite simple. Such an unflattering angle my camera is at. So this is like a bubble hem top. It's got elastic here. But again, it's got this bow at the back. Actually, I don't know now if I like it. <laughs> I, I really liked it at first. It might be because of the angle I'm looking here in a monitor and it looks absolutely awful. Anyway, let me explain to you the fabric because when I look online, I wish I could feel and know what the fabric is like. So the bow and the front of the top is like, like a thin sheeting cotton material. Do you know what I mean? Like if you had like a, a silky, satiny cotton sheet on your bed, that, that, that is the feel of it, but it's double layered. So underneath it has just a, underneath it just has normal cotton and the same, this whole back is cotton and it's double layered. I think that's why it makes it a bit bulky. Yeah, I'm not sure now I like this one. I will have to have a look again because I also bought white one like this. So let me show you the white one. Okay, so this is the white one. Do you know what? I think they might be too big. I've ordered the UK size 12, but it looks, I know I can tighten it up with this bow, but yeah, I think it's just too big. I don't like that one but let me show you something with this because I think this is quite cute I got this is from Amazon and they did them in few different colors this very thin like a waterfall cardigan you know when you in a summer in the evening you just need something really light um, I thought this was really nice and I like these bright colors Oh my god you can't see how long it is at the back it's just past my bum and at the front you know it's a bit longer on one side sorry this is not very well organized yet but I thought it was quite nice for summer summer evenings now this I really like it's like a brodery anglais t-shirt so the front doesn't have any lining so you can see bits through those holes but at the back it is just a plain cotton 
and it has a button but I don't want to do it up so yeah this one I really like but my favorite <laughs> is the next one I was telling you about that top that I saw in the white company and I love it I actually ordered another one because I know that if I love something so much I need to order double so when that one is worn out or something happens to it I've got another one so let me show you I know to you it must might seem like nothing special but I love this it's sort of gauze material and I love it so much for the summer and I think and you know I like I think I'm turning into a hippie I love these loose um, tops I just think it's so lovely it's so beautifully made and I don't know I just love everything about it I think they did one in um, in black as well yeah this is what I call my pregnancy top you know but I just love them I feel so comfortable in them and in the summer with white jeans or even white linen trousers I will look like a chef okay my lovely so I thought I showed this to you because I need to do my cleaning now I'm getting a bit panicky I've got just two days left two days left yes today and tomorrow before we go and still loads to do I will leave the links to all these I think I'm gonna send those bubble tops back not feeling them actually something just arrived oh it's my Charlotte Tilbury you know I told you I've bought that setting spray oh yes and I've pre-ordered the Kim KW lipstick because this is like my favorite nude lipstick here is the setting spray I think it was yeah it's it's airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day with with what white tea of Bali I, I think this is the um, limited edition that fragrance let's smell it I can smell a bit better now smells very delicate but that could be because I can't smell properly so I'll try that and what's in here these are the Caudalie pack of three little travel hand creams I think they were one Christmas I bought it but obviously this must have been like a Christmas thing so you can't get it really anywhere but I found it on some website that still had stock so I just bought it because I like to put it in my handbag not that I go anywhere with my handbag okay I'm going now and doing stuff hello my lovelies so I am just getting ready to pack because we're going away today so I washed my hair all I've got left is some packing I had to go with Paul to pick up his car today needed it like a hole in the head <laughs> but um, yes yeah, so I will finish this vlog here there is a new video on beach shoot leave you the link um, and I will vlog when we are away have a lovely week thank you for watching and I see you in my next video bye